Hello, and welcome to STEM Time with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Crystal, and today we're going to see how a candle can pull water up into a glass. So this experiment is for children around ages 9 and up due to the fact that we are going to be using a flame. It would still be a good idea to have some adult supervision for that part of the experiment. For this experiment today, here are the supplies you will need. You will need a small candle, a votive will work, or even this kind of candle will work. A saucer, water, about a fourth of a cup should be enough, a glass, and either a lighter or some matches to light our candle. So, first off, when we talk about experiments, we want to ask ourselves questions. So, for every action, there is a reaction. So, if we have water in our saucer, around our candle, and we light our candle, how do you think the flame will react when we put a glass over it. And why? And then when we do that, how will the water in the saucer be affected by the candle flame changing? And why? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see if you have your hypothesis of what will take place. So I have put the candle in the middle of the saucer. I have poured the water around it um, almost to the edge. It's pretty full. Now I'm going to light my candle. And let the flame take really well. Now one of the things as we are doing this, let's talk about um, fire. We know that in order for a fire to burn, it has to have oxygen. So right now, being on an open saucer, it's receiving plenty of oxygen. But what is going to happen to that source of oxygen when we place the glass over it? I'm going to put the glass over it slowly so that it's sitting on the saucer in the water. And as you can see, it looks like slowly the flame is diminishing. But look what's happening along the bottom. Do you see? Oh, isn't that amazing? The water that was in the saucer is now inside the glass. So when the candle is burning inside the glass, the heat makes the air expand. So some of the air escapes outside of the glass. The candle goes out after it uses up all the oxygen inside of the glass. So as the air cools, the pressure inside the glass drops and some of the carbon dioxide formed by the flame dissolves in the water as well, and it decreases the pressure inside even more. The water outside the glass on the saucer is forced into the glass by the higher air pressure outside. So it's almost like magic, but the forces of heat and pressure are what make this a really cool experiment. Well, thank you so much for joining me for STEM time today. If you do this activity, please post it for us on social media with the hashtag ILoveHPL. We want to see you do some of these experiments as well. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.